Hotel Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got Rob Brand. We're here in Monte Carlo. What a say, it's fantastic to have you here, champ. I've never been a part of any uh, promotion or any type of show quite like this before in my life. This is uh, it's top end. You know, all the all the fighters are top notch, uh, ranked, rated fighters, and and the, the venue, the you know, the city in which we're having this gala event. I mean, it's it's all almost over the top. It's absolutely wonderful. And I'm, uh, now, let's tell, sorry to stop you. let's tell the IFL TV viewers a little bit about yourself. I know I've had a look at your record. I've had a look at some of the YouTube stuff. Yeah. You normally fight at middleweight. Um, yeah. You've been building up a great record on a good run of KOs as well. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, it's... Uh, I've been kind of in the grind. I've been in the top-rated middleweight for, for some time now uh, in, in trying to get the break in because like, all those belts are very tied up right now. So trying to break in, you know, I, I tried my, I tried getting toward Billy Joe Saunders. I, I tried to get involved with Emma, the mandatory for Hassan and Dom and uh, Ryota Murata, but they have mandated a rematch and pushed it along until November. Then I'd had a fight on the undercard and then potentially go to Japan in, in the spring. <coughs> And all of it just got very frustrating, you know, and it's just, uh, and then we had this opportunity for the, this tournament, which I originally thought they were going to do this tournament in middleweight to begin with. I just, I was like, you know, I, it seemed like it would be a good move. You know, I feel like a lot of top middleweights would like to, to, to join it, including Saunders. You know, it's their, you know, they're they're offering up quite a bit, you know, in terms of, you know. So I, uh, I was I was kind of mentally preparing and hoping they come out with middleweight, and then they decided to go with super middleweight. And, in my mind, I was kind of thinking it was just kind of out. You know, I was gonna have to sit around and wait for the in limbo for the uh, the Murata and Dom winner. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, we got the opportunity, you know, uh, to to go up to 68. And and I've always said that you know there's you don't find better or worse fighters in different weight classes. They're just different sizes. There you, go. you know, guys guys can fight. You know, everybody here can fight. There's plenty of guys in middleweight that can fight. Yep. You know, if I have to put on eight pounds. You know, which is just a matter of not stepping in a sauna once. You know, it'll be easy. You know, not not necessarily the fight easy, but you know, the uh, making the weight going up will be a smooth transition. I'm not a small million. So. Now you're not a natural super middleweight, but neither is the man you're fighting in Jurgen Bremer. He's coming down from like heavyweight. So will that affect you? The fact that you're going up that extra eight pounds, he's coming down. It, I get stronger going up. You don't necessarily always get stronger moving down. He's been six years. He's been six years at light heavyweight, um, and he's been off for close to a year himself. By the time we actually compete. since the defeat to Cleverly, since his defeat to Cleverly. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say that he's going to have a much harder transition than I would. You know, I'm not saying that it's going to make the fight easier or harder for either one of us, but it's going to be a harder transition for him to go from mm -hmm. bigger guys to a smaller, much faster guy who's very young and hungry. So I got a lot of youth on my side, a lot of uh, a lot of things going for me in this in this aspect, and not just you know his his elements of having to, to drop weight, mm -hmm. but just I feel that I have a lot more natural gifts as well as uh, overall general boxing skill than than he'll be able to have. It's just a matter of staying smart the entire time. It doesn't matter if you win the first four or five six rounds, he can punch for 12 rounds. So it's all about uh, taking my time, having treating the fight like every round is a separate fight. So, and if I do that, I will, I'm 100% confident I can win with the victory. To beat someone like Bremer in a tournament like this would be a great spring for, for yourself. And I said he was been a staple of German boxing for many, many years. Absolutely. So the respect levels and the introduction to a European audience could be, yes. could be fantastic for you. Absolutely, you know, it's, uh, he's got a huge, he's got a, a, a great name in the sport and he has beaten some of the best himself. And, and like I said, it's one of those crossroads fights, you know, mm -hmm. the, the up and coming guy versus the guy who's on his last leg. You know, I'm not saying that he's he's close to retirement or anything like that. He's only 37, but you know, he's closer to the end. I'm closer to the beginning, so it's kind of one of those. What fight, what pick excited you the most when you was watching the gala, standing there, involved yourself? What fight did you think? Wow. In terms of which fight do it, it, that is uh, that is made between both weight classes. Uh, any fights that were made, any fight that was made today between the two, any seeds. Uzik what? and Huck. Wow. Uzik and Huck. I think everybody's excited for Uzik and Huck. I mean, the whole cruiserweight division um, seems to be that if you're ranked, you're in this tournament. If I feel that way, so it's a, it's going to be. I think every fight in that is going to be extremely entertaining. 
but I'm I'm excited to watch those two guys throw some thunder. You know? So that's that's probably my being the only American in the tournament mm -hmm. with the Muhammad Ali prize at stake. Does that does that mean maybe a little bit more to you than it would other fighters? You know, it means a lot. I'm like, I, I, I said this to somebody not long ago that Muhammad Ali was more than just a, like an, an American, great American champion. You know, he kind of transcended that in, in all of the workings he did. Um, between the, the work he did with his community, the work he did with, with his religion, and, and people that were less fortunate. So, I mean, anybody should be more than excited to, to fight for the Muhammad Ali uh, trophy because he goes so much further than just uh, being an American or being someone from Germany or, or Britain. He's a phenomenal athlete, a phenomenal man that he really was. So, I mean, I think that... Uh, it has less to do with uh, him being from the United States and, and more to do with who he is. My man, can't thank you enough for your time today. Absolutely. Great to have you here in Europe. And just so you know, I know Americans love to call the whole uh, sort of this place Europe. Yeah. It, there's a big difference between Monaco and Scarborough. Just note yeah. that. All right? <laughs> I'll take your Europe, word for it. Make sure you state what part. That's all I'm going to say. Absolutely. Rob Brand, thanks for your time. Thanks all right, thank you very much. Man. Thank you, bro.